All right. Welcome to the PSS as the Pleasure Bulls Action Podcast. I'm your host, Cote PS, and by your boys, my co-host here is... Andrew Arenas, Liz. Yes, and we are on episode 55. Pretty sure. Ooh, 55, yeah. I like that number. 55, 55, five, double digits. Um, we're quite late. I mean, you guys won't notice that, but for us, we're recording a little late tonight. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty late. I've had quite a day, or actually quite a week. Saw Batman vs. Superman. Not going to talk about it here. It's not really the place to talk about it. I'm sure everyone else gets their fill from somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's pretty, been a pretty loaded day. Um, not too exhausted, but I have plenty uh-huh. of uh, up for PlayStation. Yeah. Well, no, today was my first day off for spring break, so... <laughs> Oh, you're on spring break, son of a bitch. Starting, <laughs> yeah, starting today, yeah. Oh my lord. Well, that's good. Um, yeah. So yeah, I finally have a week to catch up on on games and stuff. That's good. Yeah. Busy. Maybe you could talk about some of the games you've been playing. Maybe later. Yeah, I actually got to play a certain thing today. Yeah. Mmm. Right. Um. Yeah. So if you'll see if I can get back around to that. Um. But let's just get to some news items I've written down here. Let's see where to start. I don't know where to start. Where should I start? Um, let's just start with the old at the uh. Wait, what's that? <laughs> no, a little thing popped up on my thing. It's got it got me got me worried on my uh. Like here, can I get normal audio data? Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm curious about that. If it's, I mean, my thing's going up. It's it's hearing me. I don't know if it's maybe not hearing me well. Hmm. It went away. So I think we can, should be fine. Anyway, a little scare right there. Only uh, Skype notifications or whatnot. But speaking of Skype, um, that's what I'm trying to get to. That it was oh. announced today that PSP and PS Vita will be losing Skype support. Mm, that's unfortunate, Start. yeah. Uh, support on Skype will be ending on June 22nd. Uh, the Vita mm. and PSP must support it, and mm. it will no longer be downloadable from the store, the apps. Yeah. We should do an episode through Skype on Vita <laughs> just for the sake of it since it's going away. And just see, actually, do a whole episode. I suppose. I, I mean, uh, I just gotta log in. I just gotta. Just gotta log in. Much. You know, go download it first too. Go download the app. I wonder if it's gonna make much of a difference if we're on the Vita. Well, I don't think I can run the uh, recorder while we're on Vita. Oh, so you want me to be on the Vita? Yeah, maybe one of us be on the Vita because, like, because I think I think I need to. Rec- yeah, I don't think I'll be able to record it. Now uh, on the Vita, I wonder. I wonder if, sorry, if, I could, like, if you can even use the front-facing camera to. I mean, I would assume so, but this is the Vita we're talking about. Yeah, it is. Like, uh, yeah, the developers. Don't... Any other details on this? I mean, any other kind of statement or just anything? It's, uh, it's just being pulled. I mean, yeah, it's just being pulled. Um, I mean, I'm loading up the page. See if there was any more. Um, talk like you're saying. It just says we apologize for any convenience that this may cause, and we yeah. appreciate your understanding. It's just, you know, it's just another succumbing to just another app, just phones that can already do that. We have computers as well. Um, you know, I mean, Vita's kind of the last resort thing that I would use. You know, it's just making me wonder when we're going to get the ending of possibly even like Hulu or Netflix support. I mean, that would be pretty sad. Hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. Because um, I did like enjoy watching stuff on Netflix on my Vita a little bit. Yeah, I just don't like that the I just don't like that the Netflix app was never updated. No, it's no, it's, it's never like, it's, it's still like, it's old. It's still the old interface and the profiles yeah. aren't there. So like when I log on to Netflix <laughs> on my Vita, I have to be on like the default profile and not my own. Yeah, it's 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 just crazy. It's like the same as it was like in twenty twelve or twenty thirteen when the app launched. So mm-hmm. it's pretty bad. Um it's crazy. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. It makes me wonder when also Gmail will be um, unutilized and other things. It's just it's just sad. Um, more things are coming away on the Vita. And, but I mean, yeah. we don't uh, even have Skype on the PS4. It's on the Vita. No, we do not. Yeah, it's yeah, it's neat. I mean, we have the party system if you wanted that. But of course, Skype is just using it for any other reasons. I don't I don't remember if you can use Skype on the Vita to like play games as well while you're doing that. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, you know, you have the party feature, but yes, you do. And someone else does need to have another Vita, or you have a PS4. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's not forget that you can also uh, cross party with people on PS4, which is really neat. I really utilize that feature quite a bit around the PS4's launch. Um, so, yeah, it's unfortunate, as I said before. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. What else can we talk about? Uh, oh, another thing coming. Uh, well, this is coming to PS4. Uh, yeah. They announced today that Power Season 2. Yay. Is, that's, that's very happy. Is coming uh, May 31st. Yeah, that's great. Uh, a lot of comic book stuff in May then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. May, May's really kicking off. Um, yeah, so we've, yeah, because we talked about it before. We talked about Power Season 2, and we're like, when is this even coming out? We don't know. Mm-hmm. And now they confirmed, yeah, it's coming May 31st. So, got yeah. more pictures and, um, who, who killed, oh, wait, maybe we should say that's a spoiler. But, I mean, they're, they're, they're advertising it now. So, if you didn't watch Season 1, yeah, it's like, sorry, you should watch Season 1. So, you know. Who but, you know, who knows? Somebody can watch the Season 2 trailer and go, oh, you know what? Maybe I do need to go watch Season 1, you mm-hmm. know? But um, because look, even like removing joking and sarcasm aside, like I enjoy powers for what it is. Yeah, like, like it's nothing grand or and oh, it's it's realm. no it's no daredevil. <laughs> uh, yeah, putting that aside, yeah. just right now. Yeah, it's no it's no daredevil. It's not even like even remotely close to like many other comic book shows in the vast realm of comic book shows. I mean, there's just so many I mean, now. It's above Gotham, but that's kind of it. <laughs> Yeah, you know if you like. I, throw, well, throw. Gotham has been getting better. Granted, I haven't really been watching season yeah, two. I'll, I'll, I'll say I wouldn't know. Yeah, so it, it, it's good. It's it's just definitely. It's, I mean, like it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like it's just that it's late. It's okay. It's just uh, it's, it's certainly better than other things. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, and it's, like we said, it's premiering May 31st, and they're doing um, the first three episodes will be available on May 31st. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, it'll be weekly release after that. I don't know, a lot of people complaining that in the international territories that they're not able to get this, unfortunately. Yeah, they've only said U.S. Yeah. and Canada for yeah. right now. Um, but the thing about Powers, I noticed that like, like Sony has released it on other platforms since you mm-hmm. know, it de- debuted on PlayStation. Like um, it is also on Blu-ray. Yes, you can go buy it on Blu-ray. Um, they have it like on the digital stuff, like iTunes and Vudu and all that. You can buy it on there. Um, yes. But if you want to watch it for free, they actually had it on Crackle for a little while. I don't know if it's still there, but they actually had it on the Crackle. The whole season? Yeah, the whole season was on Crackle at one point. Mm. So you can watch it with ads. Ah. ah and Crackle. And yeah, Crackle. <laughs> Crackle. <laughs> Crackle's crappy interface. Ugh. I know, like, is Crackle's interface, like, stuck in, like, the early 2010s? I, I guess. Like, I, don't know. I, I think, like, it's I mean, never got, it's like the Vita uh, <laughs> Netflix app. It's just never got updated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I put up a Crackle because it's free. So I don't really complain about it too much because it's, it's, it's completely free. You don't even need to make an account yeah, to run it. So I don't complain about it too much. But it really isn't that well of a designed app, you know? Yeah. But, uh,. But yeah, but anyway, yeah, Powers was on Crackle at one point. Uh, you can watch the whole thing on there for free with with ads. Um, so I mean, they've made it accessible outside of PlayStation since its initial thing. It's just the, like, it's like they say the debut. If you want to see it as soon as possible, get it on PlayStation with Plus and all that, you know. Uh huh. But um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see what else should we go to? Um, oh, other stuff that got released. Um. This past week, two new PlayStation 2 classes got released this week. Oh, that's awesome. Both of them from Rockstar. Oh, more Rockstar PS2 classics. Yes, uh, Manhunt was released as a PS2 classic uh, mm. for PS4, and Bully was released as a PS2 classic for PS4 this week. Ah, oh, Bully. Such a good game. Yes. Um, I do not know if these have Platinums or not. I assume they do. Oh, I they got it. I assume so. Sorry, it, it, it's no War of the Monsters. No, no, because Rockstar Games, they get their Platinums, you know. They get their Platinums. They solidify their Platinums. I'm sure War of the Monsters, but I don't know. It's just something might have went wrong there. Yeah, I just, I mean, if it costs more than $10, then it should have Platinum. That's like the, I think, the standard. That's what it was. I mean, that's what it was. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I, I bought yeah. it, <laughs> you, you, I bought the cheapest game, and they didn't have the Platinum. <laughs> that's why. I bought the cheapest one. <laughs> Like so upset, like you bought the day up, so it's not like you could have. Seen. I mean, it wasn't the trophy list wasn't even up, like on four trophies. I mean, it might have been up, but I just didn't take the time to go look. I just assumed there'd be a platinum. Like, like, just, of course, no, there's a platinum in this game. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? Now, let me be honest with you. Like, 
Well, you know, you're going to be honest with me. Like, if you didn't know, if you knew that it didn't have a platinum before you bought it, would you even have bought it? Well, I would have definitely hesitated. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, just I mean takes... it would have been great to go back. But yeah, to go back and really have this, like, overall goal to be like, I want to platinum this, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but it did take away that kind of, because it's kind of like, I don't have like, this overall end goal, you know, now. Mm. It does kind of take away from it. And it's like, I mean, I still probably would have got it, but I would have definitely hesitate and kind of thought about it. Because, like, right away, I was like, yeah, I'm buying this. And then, like, when I started yeah, Platinum, I was just so disappointed. Like, what? I really wanted to, like, sit here and go for that Platinum and, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. But now you got Manhunt Bully. And then, like I said, I assume those have Platinum. So you go out and try to Bully get is such a... I'm, I can't say much for Manhunt because, I mean, in the PS2 days, I didn't play many... Uh... Emory gets, but like Bully was like the accessible one because you know I was able to play that one uh, back in the day. Uh, just so much to that game, I really like and enjoy. Definitely a game that was ahead of its time, similar to the GTA games. And uh, oh my gosh, did they ever make a sequel? Mm. Oh, that would be fantastic. I'm um, probably gonna wait for these to be on sale. I mean, for <laughs> one, I can't really be on PS4, so like, probably gonna wait for these to be on sale. I'm not gonna. Bite the bullet, kind of like I did for the GTA games. They kind of went on sale pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. I see them being on a um, maybe a spring sale later down the road. Yeah, because yeah, like you said, the GTA games yeah. went on sale kind of quickly. Yeah, they did. You know, it was like it was like the price of no, it was like half the price of like one of the games for all three. I was just like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I know that was ridiculous, but mm-hmm. it was probably maybe a sign nobody's buying them. Uh, you know, I mean, it was just, you know, also a sign of the times because, you know, we clamored for something like this for such a long time. And then it's now here and then it's just, you know, you're on PS4. It's the balance of playing the new games you got and this and, you know, yeah. I mean, I was talking to my brother about this and, you know, he was just saying, like, as great as it is to go back to, like, these older games. Like, you know, we have no problem sometimes going to, like, remasters that, like, come from PS3. But, like, once you start digging a little deeper, uh, you know, we kind of have trouble uh, finding time to to play these games or if we do we just play it for a little bit and don't really get too invested back into it anymore uh especially if it's revisiting i think it's a different kind of situation if maybe you haven't played them before like i think you would actually get really invested in bully today if you were a newcomer because i mean it's a really enjoyable game and if you don't have much to play right now uh, in your current situation or if you don't find anything else interesting that's new uh, so it, it's different. It's a difficult balancing act that you know some some folks need to find to find the time to play games like these because it's just so much. Mm-hmm. So much, so much to play. As new, always, new and old, always, always mm-hmm. something to play. Never a shortage, even just on the platform of PlayStation. I can't even imagine for other platforms too. So yep. it's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, but anyway. But yeah, speaking of other to play, some another game got stealth released this week. Basically, stealth released. Yeah, because I mean, Bully just came out of nowhere. Like they didn't say Bully was coming. It was just here you go. You yeah, know? like a small wording, but small. Then... I mean, I don't know. It was it was like rumored, but then it kind of just it was here, you know. But um, now, now we gotta wait for Max pain. Yeah, we'll see. But um, on the Vita, <laughs> XCOM Enemy Unknown Plus was released this week. Huh. The game that like two uh, 2K never confirmed was even in development huh. uh, got released this week on Vita as a as a digital download. Um, XCOM, oh, yeah, XCOM Enemy Unknown mm. was released this week. Um, mm. So that's cool. You know, everybody said XCOM would work really well on Vita. As far as the uh, of that, gonna maybe wait for first for reviews on that one. Yeah, that's the thing. It just came out of nowhere, so I don't think anyone's like reviewed it yet. Yeah. I mean, you can probably look up. Or some, if like, anyone's going to take the time to do it, well, of, yeah. well wait, I mean, let me let me back. Uh, people will take the time to do it. It's just, uh, I think, like some of the bigger sites, they're going to need to find someone to do it. So just do or like a little, answer. yeah, do a little YouTube search. Hey, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yeah. Too, yeah, you did that for a couple of Vita games, correct? Yeah, you know, whenever you had trouble looking for like games that people didn't review or whatever. Oh yeah, that's what. I was, no, well, no, I made a joke about it a couple episodes about uh, Disney Infinity for Vita. Like, no one reviewed that game. But it exists, yeah. you know. So like, that's why. If, like, if, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wanted to go buy it and do my own like video review of it. Exactly. Because right? I thought I'd be the only one who would do one. You know. The thing I tell you, man, like the stuff that you know that you don't see other people doing, mm-hmm. you jump on it, and you've already had before. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, but where can I find that unboxing video? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, right here. You have I thousands of the Vita. I need to know what's in the Vita starter kit. Yeah, man. A thou like fifteen. Yeah, fifteen hundred people wanted to know. Yeah, exactly. But it's so weird. Like when I, now, when I look back on it, it's kind of dumb because like you just it, all the content's already listed. I mean, like what you need to see. But I don't know. I was curious. I mean, well, and other people were curious too. What's in that Vita starter kit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but you did the job that no one else did. So exactly, yeah, exactly. So that's that's why that's all idea. That's why, I, like, and I seriously considered buying Disney Money for Vita just to do that. And here's the thing, too. Like, I expected it to be cheap, and mm. it was cheap for a while. Like, I saw the game stuff for like twenty five dollars. The whole Vita starter kit. Um, yeah. I was like, okay, that's kind of cheap, maybe. But I thought maybe it'd go even cheaper. Like, I was expecting like it to go like dirt cheap, like ten dollars. You know. Yeah, um, but no, it actually went back up because apparently that was like a sale price. Because last I checked, it went back up to full sixty dollars. Oh, so I'm like, what the hell? Like, it's a Vita game. The price should not be going up. All right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, never gonna play this game on Vita. Which is funny because actually the Vita version came with the exclusive, um, you know, Black Symbiote Spider-Man figure. Oh, yeah, the exclusive one. I remember. Yeah, it just now came out, like, single. Like, you can, like, just now, like, this past week. It was exclusive for a long time. Yeah, it was exclusive for a long time with the Vita version. Like, that was the only way to get it, but now they've released it with the rest of the, like, Civil War figures, you know, this week. Yeah. Um, So, like, it was just funny to see that. Like, man, that thing was, that thing was exclusive to the Vita for at least, like, a year, year and a half, you know? Yeah. Because, uh, I don't know, did Boba Fett get released yet? Single? Because it's exclusive to, like, the uh, bundle PS4 pack or whatever. I don't know. I feel like I'm the wrong guy to ask on that kind of know. stuff. I don't know. I, mean, I, just... I care about Disney Infinity. It's just that I don't. I don't, I don't. It's like I care, I'm not, but I don't. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not. I mean, I do. It's just that I'm not in the know of, like, what's yeah. available, what's exclusive. Well, the Spider-Man one I know for sure because it was funny because I saw it this week. I was looking at the display with all the new Civil War figures. Yeah. And, um... I saw the the symbiote Spider Man. I was like, "Oh wow, this has been on Vita for at least a year, and now it's finally available to everyone else." Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so there's that. But also on Vita, because that was the bigger thing I was trying to get to with this with this thing about XCOM coming out. Two K has shown that uh, XCOM is ca- comes out this week, and they've also confirmed that Civilization Revolution Two is coming out next week for Vita. Well, oh, there you go. Finally, yeah. the uh, the. The whole circle's coming together on it. This Vita game I've been waiting for for so long um, <laughs> is coming out next week. Civilization Revolution 2 Plus releasing on Vita next week. Definitely going to get that and check that out. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe I should be the one reviewing it since that might be. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't maybe. know. It's a pretty high profile release. I mean, yeah. Maybe, maybe I mean, people. and there is this word like we know it's coming out next week. It's not like XCOM where it was just kind of like, oh, hey, it's coming out today, you know? Because you know. like even the creator, even like the creator of the, of the game, like didn't even know this was coming to Vita. Like he posted like a tweet on that or something like that. He's like, "Oh, this game's on Vita now." I don't know. Oh, oh this game's on Vita now. <laughs> What's a Vita? Oh, jeez, don't don't even do that again. You did that last week. What's a Vita? <laughs> What's a Vita? <laughs> like what were you talking about last week? Like, uh... oh yeah, what I was saying, like oh like. When GDC last week, and you're talking to all the developers, like, oh, like they kept it being pushed, like, oh, is it gonna be a Vita? And then you were all like, did some of those developers say, uh, what's a Vita? <laughs> yeah, because no, you said, like, you said, like, what worst answer, worst answer they can give is, like, oh, you can remote play it or something. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I was like, well, no, the worst question could be, the worst answer could be, like, what's a Vita? <laughs> <laughs> That's even a worse answer, yeah. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, anyway, but yeah, I'm really excited for Civilization. I'm definitely buying that uh, next week when it launches. Um, I'll give you guys some impressions of it uh, next week. So, checking that out. I'll be playing that a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Because I played the hell. I mean, just even the iPhone version. I played the hell of the iPhone version. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see, where should I get to next? There's like. Uh, we'll get back we'll go we'll come back around to that so this week mm. sony opened the pre-orders for the playstation vr oh, they did. this past tuesday and they've also announced i don't i think we, did we talk about it last week the the bundle they announced that there's a bundle now no i don't think yeah i don't think it was announced last week when we recorded but sony announced that there's a launch bundle that costs 500 dollars that comes with 
the headset, um, a camera, two move controllers, and the uh, PlayStation VR Worlds game. Yeah, the little bundled in game. Yeah, you know, a little bundled in game. And then, of course, all the wires and all that stuff. So it's $500 and get you all that stuff. And it was really weird because they said, okay, look, like they didn't announce the bundle at first. And they said, okay, here's the bundle, $500. And it's the only one you can pre order this Tuesday. You can't pre order just the core headset bundle. Mm. Like it was really weird. Like, yeah, this Tuesday, at, like they gave a precise time to this Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, <laughs> you know. Go pre-order your your bundle headset. And everybody's like, well, what about the, the 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 core one, like just the headset? And they're like, oh well, we don't have the pre-orders for that. And it's like, what? Um, <laughs> it's a little weird, huh? Yeah, it's really weird. Like Sony was just trying to like play it off, like, oh, we didn't think you would want to actually pre-order that, like just the headset. You know, <laughs> like who owns who owns a camera and two move controllers? Really now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like me, I do. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, it was really weird. But anyway, so this past Tuesday, the pre doors launched, and they went really well. They did? Yeah. Yeah. That like, was about it, to, what I was about to ask. I haven't really been keeping tabs on, like, uh, how it's been doing. I mean, has it? Yeah, it, well? it sold on, on Amazon. Uh, mm-hmm. Amazon sold out, um, and Sony did make a statement saying, yep, yeah, pre-orders are past expectations. Good, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think Amazon did do a second wave of pre-orders either today or yesterday. Hmm. For the launch bundle, um, and Sony announced also this week that the that they are going to do pre-orders for the just the core headset uh, for four hundred dollars, and that will start this Tuesday. Okay. The, you mean the coming Tuesday? Yeah, this coming Tuesday, the twenty whatever. <laughs> uh, the twenty ninth. Twenty ninth, yes, twenty ninth this uh, Tuesday. So, yeah, I got to go to GameStop and go pre-order that one. Hmm. Our camera. I already got my move controllers, so that's good. Get my uh, headset. As for me, I mean, I'll have to see where I get the money, uh, scrounge up the money for it, or I might just have to pre-order it later. I mean, you pre-order on Amazon. You don't. They won't charge you nothing to pre-order on Amazon, right? Uh, I mean, I don't have to pay full up for it. Well, not on Amazon, right? Like when you pre-order Amazon, it doesn't charge you. It doesn't charge you at ships, something like that. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know how pre-ordering Amazon works. I just like pre-ordering at GameStop, like in-store, because basically mm. I get to set up basically a layaway <laughs> program where, like, if I pre-order uh-huh. this now, I can like just come back and put, you know, more and more down on it until yeah, I yeah. pay it off. Where uh-huh. where Amazon, it's like, oh, okay, I don't have to pay nothing now, but I better have the full four hundred dollars come October, you know, in my account. Mm. Yeah, it charges me. Um. So I don't know. That's 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 the that's the big reason why I pre-order stuff like that um, from GameStop. And since this is like a console accessory thing, I don't think that counts in Amazon's twenty percent off thing they do with Prime. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just software. Like hardware doesn't. Count. Yeah. So you're not going to get, you know. How freaking sweet would it be? Yeah, <laughs> like eighty dollars off. Eighty dollars, forty. Ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah, ten percent of four hundred is forty. And then yeah, eighty. So yeah, be eighty dollars off. I thought you were asking me for the numbers because uh, <laughs> I did the math in my head yeah. and I said it out loud. So hopefully I did the math right. <laughs> and then like it's late at night and then like uh, night. terrible math. And so don't still even... though, yeah, that's still a lot off. Like everybody would be pre-ordering this through Amazon if that twenty percent would work. Yeah, I know, right? Like there would be no point going to anywhere else for it. No, it wouldn't be. No, it would not be. Uh. Let's see what else we got. A little cluster. All right. So here's some uh, disappointing news this week. It's always sad to see. Um, it was, it's announced this week that Drive Club developer Evolution Studios is closing down. Mm. Um, you know, Evolution Studios released Drive Club and the Motorstorm franchise. Um, yeah, I mean, this just sucks. It always sucks to see a studio close down, you know. Um, especially, yeah, and especially yeah, since you know we had closures of Sony Studios in the past couple of years, mm-hmm. you know, it, big, big. Yeah, and it, yeah, it sucks. Who wins a first party studio? You know, mm-hmm. um, and you know they've done you know Drive Club, Drive Club, and all that problems and delays and delays and problems and ugh, it's just it's, it's been, been troubling, and it's really weird because like. They they announced this and that they're closing down, um, but yet a few weeks, not a few weeks, a few days before this was announced, they they kind of did a tweet saying, "Hey, 
some people were asking about VR support, and they just said, oh, more details at E3. Mm. You know, about VR support for Drive Club, and then you're like, and then a few days later, it's like, oh, well, we're closing down. You know? mm. um, so it's kind of like, well, what, what's going to happen? Like, the, the VR support's still going to happen, right? And then, like, they kind of follow this up with, like, you know, what's going to happen, like, for support for the game. Like, you know, maybe more DLC or, you know, just patches and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they clarify that that stuff will continue through PlayStation. PlayStation will have a team just devoted to, like, just keeping up with updates and whatnot. I mean, it could be, like, uh, Sony X stuff. Yeah. Um, so they're going to be keeping up with develop, uh, stuff, updates and stuff. And then, uh, I guess, this VR support, which we're going to be seeing more of uh, at E3. Um, yeah, if that happens, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it sucks. And it's, and, like I said, it sucks to see first party studios. Because, I mean, I mean, on any end, because, I mean, what was it? Uh, mm. A couple weeks ago? Oh, God. What's the Lion- Lion's what Gate. Was the Lion's Lion's Gate. Lionhead. Not Lion's Gate. Lionhead. Yeah, the guys who did, uh, who do Fable, they closed down. Yeah. Um, that really sucks. Because that's, you know, that's another first And then Fable studio. Legends was uh, canceled. Canceled. Yeah, and I mean, it's just like beta. Yeah, and then again, that's it sucks too because it's a first party studio through Microsoft, and I mean, again, they're a big thing. I mean, they made Fable, man. That's that's like isn't that like a big franchise for Microsoft? Well, I would say, well, it is. It's just that you know, it's 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 teetered off, and then especially you know with the Legends announcement, you know, it wasn't the Fable game that people wanted, and I mean, well, I mean, that was the thing about Fable. Well, never played Fables, but here's just my like. What I what I what I gather from it, the first and second one are really great. The third one not so much, um, and then they did the Connect game, which threw everyone off. Yeah, and then Legends was again going even further down the rabbit hole. Just like no, you're going in the wrong direction. You know, and then you know, just the uh, it's notorious for you know, over promising and then just not, it's not, and then just not delivering on some of the promises that were kind of anticipated before the game yeah. release. I mean, this was just uh, a fran- I mean, this was basically a franchise that they just need to kind of like buckle down and then just do Fables Four and make it back to its roots, you know. Yeah, but they didn't do that. It didn't do that. It just kept digging a hole, and now it's just not coming back up. People saw Fable Legends and they're just like, "What the hell?" Even I was just looking at that. I was just like, "The hell?" Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Microsoft has that IP locked somewhere where they can bring it back at some point. Possibly, but I think at this point it's just damaged goods and it's uh, its chances are coming back are pretty Well, short. I mean, not right now, but like in a couple of years where it kind of feels like maybe like a reboot or like some kind of like you know, like, oh, Fables is back and it's the real Fables, you know? Possibly, or like sort of even in, on to the next uh, Microsoft system at this point, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you already kind of have these weird things with the Microsoft exclusives already, so I just I mean, that's a whole other thing, but uh, we'll have to see on that. Um, yeah, Fable, Fable is pretty much done right now. I don't see anything being picked up anytime soon. As they, I think as they said too, Sony was like helping the developers from uh, exactly. Yeah. Lions had like find new jobs. Like, hey, we're helping While you guys the out. Closer to studio. Yeah, kind of like helping them out. Um, no, it was funny because that new mobile team. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, the mobile team. Oh boy. Um. What was the other? One? Oh yeah, I think it was yeah, it was Fables three, I think, because I remember I went to the uh, when Rock Band three came out. Um, it was that crazy midnight launch I went to. I think it's like my first midnight launch I went. And they, it was like three or four different games was coming out that night. Yeah, was, March twenty sixth that day was crazy. It was it was uh no, no it was like October. Yeah uh, yeah October yeah twenty sixth yeah it was uh it was Rock Band three, Fables three, The Force Unleashed two. Unleashed two yeah. And maybe something else. Like The Sims 3 on PS3 or something like that. Something like that. And it was like, I was sitting there at this thing, and I'm like, oh, man, everybody's here for something different. And people there for Fable, <laughs> people there for, for Rock Band. And they had Rock Band out to play, I remember. Yeah. Night. It was fun. That's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so something. And then uh, I remember, I remember too, like, because, uh, you know, back when X-Play was a thing on G4, it was funny. They they actually gave Fables three game of the year that year. Oh, and like uh, that, there was so much backlash for that. Like, oh my god, Fables three, Fables three sucked, and then it, like it won game of the year through X Play. <laughs> They're just like, no way. Because I mean, God, I mean, that was like 2010. Was that the year like Portal came out and 
Was I Portal, portal was, no, portal I 2 was the portal next year? Was, yeah, 2011. 2011. Uh, what was the big thing? I mean, 2010 was pretty big. I mean, you had like Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2. No. Uh, gosh, well, I don't know. I'm blanking. Red Dead Redemption. Uh, what else did you have? I'm a little bit blanking. Uh, I mean, those two games alone. <laughs> uh, I mean, Red Dead was mine for that year, but I mean, oh, yeah. I love Mass Effect Two as well. It's just, Mass Effect uh, Two. I mean, did X Play play Mass Effect Two? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> the Mass Effect. But I just remember there was like, yeah, there was a lot of backlash for that. Like they was yeah, they, were, they were like the only I people. Twenty ten giving... being a really good year. Uh, Black Ops came out. Uh, Rock Band Three came out too. Uh, Oh, Transformers War for Cybertron came out that year. Transformers War for Cybertron surprised people. Uh, no Batman game. No, Batman was 2009. Uh, gosh, uh, about it. <laughs> Probably missing stuff on other platforms that I'm totally glossing over. Yeah. But the point was, it was just kind of like they were the only major publication that was really giving Fable 3 Game of the Year. And that just kind of like threw people off. It was like, really? Fables 3 over everything? didn't have its game of the year edition where it had its one game of the year. <laughs> the little asterisk is like from X-Play and that's just it. Hey, Dead right. Island can do it. No. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We need to get game of the year to something. Which a little tidbit, uh, you know, we've been seeing some rumors of Dead, Dead Island coming to PS4. Yeah. Well, has that been confirmed? No. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, I think I saw the pre-order on GameStop. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know. Dead Island. It's just, Defin- that, it's just that we had the leak thing, like the box art and everything. Yeah, like, like it's Definitive Edition. It comes with Dead Island uh, yeah. and Dead Island Riptide, and it's only like 40 bucks. and it's like, here you go. I guess that's neat if it runs smoother and you're able to friends easier, but I mean, just for the love of God, just get Dying Light. <laughs> <laughs> the new Enhanced Edition. Uh, I mean, we'll see. I mean, maybe. I mean, I mean, if like you're done with Dying Light, like everything in Dying Light, which is, is quite a technical feat for you to do, uh, then I guess if you're just really dying for something like that more, and then you would have to find friends to play with you for it to be fun. Uh, so, I mean, just for God's sakes, people, just get Dying Light. <laughs> Feed so, your yeah. zombie co op fix. Yeah. I mean, I want to blame people if they've completed Dying Light as a whole and just they need more. But there's so much new content for Dying Light. Yes, there is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you've somehow completed that, too, I don't know. <laughs> I want to play that content, too. I haven't gotten around to it. Yep. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, oh, yeah, we got a lot of Telltale news. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try not to go into depth with this. I mean, it, it is what it is, and then just whatever later. No well, okay, well... This it's kind of it's okay. smaller, a little bigger, and then really big. I'm gonna I'm gonna work our way up. So, just a little thing. Um, Telltale uh, Telltale has confirmed that The Walking Dead season three is coming this year, or at least starting this year. Obviously, you probably won't finish. They're this year. they're like they're like on track to get it on this year. But yes. I mean, let's not forget. I mean, anything can happen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so no story details. Um, they just kind of tease that. Uh, game- no, no, by Clementine. <laughs> yeah, they just said it will have new yeah. ways. Expect new ways of tying together previous choices together. Um, the, 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 there you go. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not going to get in this argument again. Yeah. But uh, yeah. anyway, but yeah, they said uh, should at least start by the end of this year. And they said more information will be revealed at the 2016 uh, Comic-Con uh, San Diego. Oh, wow. That's probably when we'll get like a trailer maybe or like the big reveal. And we'll see what the hell this game is. Well, I mean, about. you don't even need to like the big reveal is just like who the uh, panel members are. If you have the freaking voice of Clementine, she's in the game. No, oh, yes. she can be playing as a new character. Oh, my God. <sighs> you can have voice, you know, vocal range. I don't know. Most of her characters sound the same. I mean, like Toad and, Lo- and the Wolf Among Us sounds exactly like Clementine. So I don't know. I digress. I mean, her her young Clementine and her older Clementine sound different. <laughs> a little bit. I I mean, that could all be through sound mixing too. I don't. I mean, no, probably not. I don't know. She probably yeah, changed voice. So I don't know. Yeah. So that's neat. Walking Dead's on track for this year, which is good. I mean, Michonne has been. The show. <laughs> it exists. Yeah, that's just nothing that's really set the world on fire or just, you know, 
not that lately any Telltale games really have lately, other mm-hmm. than Tales of Borderlands. But uh, you know, Michonne has been Michonne. People just want that to be done and just continue on the season. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but speaking of Telltale, they've also confirmed that Minecraft Story Mode fifth episode will start on uh, March 29th. Yeah, so quite a wait for this one. But yeah, uh, this uh this is a coming Tuesday. Yeah, episode five did take a little longer than the other episodes, but it's still five episodes in how many months? When this started? October? Yeah. And with the realm of five I mean with the realm of six months. So that's pretty good by Telltale standards. Yes. Um but <laughs> they followed this up by saying that while episode five will be the end of the main story, they are going to do three more episodes <laughs> of, of Minecraft story mode. Really? Um, yes. So that means there will be um, episode six, seven, eight. But they said there will be post story content. So it will be kind of like an extra story rather than mm. continuing the story. They're not expanding the main story to three more episodes. You know what I mean? I mean, this was probably a response to... The success of Minecraft Story Mode. I mean, I'm pretty willing to bet that this year, this particular series, was very successful. Uh, probably in comparison to like Tales of Borderlands or even Game of Thrones. So, I think it's in response to the numbers. I mean, Game of Thrones was six episodes, but that was that was set in stone to be six episodes. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I mean, maybe it was set in stone that they were going to have more, but uh, it's pretty odd. I mean, if I have the retail copy, yes. Can I get these? Okay. That's, that's what I was getting to. Um. Yeah, because all it says here is just says after the finale, it says the three extra episodes will follow Hero Jesse and his group on further adventures to new worlds. It says they'll be treated as add-ons to the existing series, meaning that you will need to have to download at least episode one to purchase these. Now, again, it doesn't state though, like you like you're saying, and that's what we're gonna get to. Like, does like if you bought the season pass, does it cover these three episodes? Or if you bought the retail version, does that cover these three episodes? Like, they haven't really said. You know? No, probably not. I mean, if they're add on ones, and then no. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. Because I mean, isn't that what happened with um, 400 days? That was outside the season pass, right? Yeah, it was outside the season pass. So, like, yeah, if you didn't have the season pass for Walking Dead, you still had to buy um, 400 days when that came. Yeah, out. you're probably gonna need to buy these separately. That's unfortunate, but that's all right. I mean, it's something that you know wasn't really planned in the get go. It seemed like so. Hmm. Well, who knows? Maybe they might clarify that. But then again, I mean, it's not like they really clarify many things. But <laughs> but they did clarify some other things. I guess. That, uh, you might bring up here in a yes, second. About to. Um, yes, that was the, th- that was the, the last Telltale thing I had to bring up. Telltale released new details and information about their Batman series. Yes, at South by Southwest. Yes, South by Southwest. Um, they've already teased that uh, this game will run on a new updated version of their game engine. Ah, so hopefully the game will run smoother and cleaner and not buggy and all that. Maybe look a little better too. Maybe, but they're not. I mean, it's not a brand new engine. It's just an updated in. Mm. Kind of what they got to stress. Uh, it's the it's the point uh, three or point five or yes, something like that. <laughs> point seven. I don't. I don't. Know. Yeah. Um, yeah. They said this new will tell a brand new story and connect to any other. Uh, franchises or anything like that so it's an original story. it's not going to be um tied to any like spe- it's not going to be adapting any like specific story you know yeah. be original thing uh you expect the first episode this summer actually so probably oh, around comic-con wow. i would assume wouldn't it be around the release of the dvds or digital copies of batman vs superman now would it mm, maybe mm-hmm. we shall see um, yeah, they kind of, <laughs> and they stress like too, like their neat thing is that you're going to be playing as both, um, Batman and Bruce Wayne trying to do this new dynamic of like, they kind of basically say kind of like, oh, if you're playing as Bruce Wayne, there's decisions that you make as Bruce Wayne during the day that can affect you as Batman at night and then vice versa, where like you're doing stuff as Batman at night, it will affect you as Bruce Wayne during the day. You know, do I get to now? Here's the ultimate question. It's not really a spoiler. Do I get to kill people? <laughs> I don't know. Um, when I was originally, well, actually, when I was originally looking at this article, it said something about the game is actually going to be rated M. But I'm looking back at the article; it doesn't say that anymore. I mean, I think he's rated M. I wouldn't be surprised. I, mean. I don't know, because I don't know, because Batman's a weird property nowadays. <laughs> well, now after March 25th, it's going to be. <laughs> well, I mean, oh wait, 
Hey, wait, wait, wait. Why do I have two of these? Oh, I have two different articles. That's why. That's where all the information went. I knew there's more details than this. Do, do, do. Yeah, okay, here it is. This one has the more information. The other one was just the whatever. Yeah, it takes place modern day Gotham, but not be tied to an existing thing. Yeah, Bruce Wayne and Batman player decision shaping the city Bruce encounters in daylight and the criminals encounter at night. Promises, yeah, each night Bruce Wayne chooses to change for Gotham for the better. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they have no... Um, this says they have not confirmed any uh, extra characters like Robin Wing or any villains, um, but they said the game will feature Alfred, James Gordon, Vicky Vale. Mm. Um, they said he was voicing Batman? No. Really? Wow. No. Um, oh, yeah, here it is. Oh. I found the line. It says here, Batman will be rated M with the cinematic approach approaching feeling more akin to an R. Oh. Okay. So taking Batman in a bold, mature direction. Um, Basically, kind of like Batman vs Superman. Well, I mean, I, I should. I'm really treading water on that, but <laughs> well, I mean, this is well. Here's the thing. It's like, yeah, like I said, Batman's just a weird uh, thing right now because it's like for for the longest time, you know, with superheroes, it's kind of well for a while with superheroes, it was always like, no, you got to keep them like PG-13, kind of like middle ground, you know, um, and the R rated stuff is safe for like original characters watchmen or sin city or like some specific stuff that was written from the to be a mature story you know mm. i mean yes we saw we see mature batman stories in the comics like dark knight returns or killing joke stuff like that but that's in the comics you know like for as far as cartoons and games is always at the most keep batman uh pg pg 13 because like even the animated series had a few darker moments kind of work her way there and it was really weird like i remember playing um uh arkham uh asylum back in 2009 and uh oh, how old would i have been 2009 <laughs> 16 uh, i mean you're, you're in high school yeah 16 i think something like that 16 17, something like that um and it was really funny playing arkham knight because not arkham knight arkham asylum uh, because, you know, Arkham Asylum is from the writers of the anime series and most of the voice actors from the anime series return to play as their own characters, you know. Um, so it was really weird playing that because it was rated T and like, despite the fact that it was rated T, it was really pushing the M rating though, I, I kind of found. Because like, as you're playing, it was weird to see Batman curse like in the voice, like from the show, from the cartoon, you know. <laughs> like, yeah. thank damn and stuff like that. I was just like, <laughs> what? And then like, yeah. other characters were cursed too and I was like, well, this is this is this is this is weird to me. Like, I mean, it's not it's just different than the animated series Batman, even though it's the same. Yeah, place of what, it's not Batman I, the animated series the game. Well, that's what I mean though. Like, it's the same character. Well, I mean, it's not the, like you said. Yeah, it's not like an exact adaptation of the cartoon, yeah. but it's the same voices I grew up with in the cartoon, and these characters and they're cursing and stuff. And I mean, yeah, when you go watch a movie or something and you see, you might see Batman or somebody curse, it's like, whatever, that's the movie version. But like, this is like, like, this is almost the animated version, you know, put in this new form. And it's just, it's just, it's weird to me. I was like, man, it's weird hearing these people curse now. And then like, even, even just other things, the game was really kind of pushy. Like, um, there was the cursing. And then there's those moments where like, as you're playing as Batman and you can like go into sonar mode and just listen to the criminals talk. You know, yeah. and they say some really weird things like, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what was the one? Criminals do. No, but like they were like they were like, oh man, Cat, did you hear Catwoman's running around? Oh boy, I would like to catch Nally. I was like, what? <laughs> and I like, know the the criminals always have like heavy dialogue. It's, it's and funny. then like I was like, what? And there's the other one like, like uh, it was like, oh, did you hear? It's like, boy, it's not even Catwoman working together. And they're like, oh man, I love to watch that. And I'm like. What? <laughs> Just sitting here listening to these crazy dialogue. I'm like, what? <laughs> I know. I, I, that's why I always love them about the Arkham games. Just hearing like, literally, even like an Arkham Knight. Every time I would just like go over to my sonar phone and just like listen to the criminals or something like around in the city. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. And um, yeah. But either way, though, it was still T-rated, and it was still one of those things where like that pushing a little, and Warlord's kind of like, okay, you know, because. They still want Batman to essentially appeal to everyone, or at least be available for everyone, you know? Well, to more, not everyone. Not everyone, but to more, like, it's accessible to everyone. 
more or less. Um, but and then now Arkham... after this and everything, I don't know. Yeah, well, colored, but... <laughs> yeah, but that was the thing. Like when Ark- Arkham Knight was f- like, because like, like I said, like I said I acknowledge that because some people are gonna say that. Well, the comic books, yes, there's dark stories in the comics, but let's be honest, comics nowadays are really only targeted mostly to older audiences now because kids just don't read comics, you know. Um, they, they see the movies. They see the movies. Uh, but the thing is nowadays they're trying to they're trying to figure out okay like how do we get this like should this character be darker whoa and arkham knight was kind of that first push of like oh this is a wide major batman release and it's rated m you know now granted that game wasn't like intended to be rated m uh because rockstar has gone record saying that like the game was not intended to be rated m it was just they kind of stressed that it was one particular scene in the game that got it the m rating um, and it was one of those things where they did want to take it out, and then Warner Brothers Interactive, whatever the game, um, said, fine, don't take it out. We'll release it as rated M. We don't care, you know? So, and that was kind of it. Like, that was it. Like, it was just this one scene um, that made the game rated M, and then it, it came out, and obviously, Arkham Knight was still a success. It still sold really well. So the M rating didn't really hurt, like, the sales, you know? And... It's kind of the same thing now with this Telltale series. I guess they kind of figure, well, Telltale's doing really well putting out M-rated games. I mean, yes, uh, Minecraft's rated E, but other than that, pretty much everything else they put out is rated M. And it's doing really well, and Telltale usually goes for a mature market anyway, so I guess Warner Brothers is kind of thinking, well, yeah, you know what, just do it. Just do an M-rated Batman series and just do it, you know? Yeah, and then now we're going to see what that is um, because now we're going to see Batman in a new direction. I was about to say that, like, what is the limits to what the players can let Batman do? But now even that's kind of going out the window. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's, it's, it's bold, dark new territory for Batman. <laughs> oh, well, the darkest is it's ever been now uh, after Batman v Superman. I'm just like uh, so. I just don't. I. I mean, are they doing trying to do like a mid 2010 different like take? I don't even understand. I don't know. Just don't, I don't even make me go there. Just, I know. Once you see the film, people, you'll understand. It's just, just Batman's my favorite superhero. I, well, he is too. And then they just. I mean, they. Uh, the, yeah, I like. I don't want to get too deep into it either because I haven't no. seen the movie. Um, no, it's just they do things incredibly well with him but then just like his moral code is just so gone and it's just i i question why they did that yeah i mean and it's not even mentioned why the, it's not even mentioned why the moral code or if there even was one in the first place that's what even makes me more concerned and just i'm just i don't understand i really don't so whatever they just throw out his like whole like moral center as a character what made him like interesting and like part Part of like you know why his villain with his villains and stuff his dynamic with the villains right it's just um, I could go on for this whatever but we will bear probably but just, whatever <laughs> whatever um <sighs> yeah just just yeah just the two the two best versions were like the anime series and the Arkham games got it mm-hmm. got it right yeah as far as that middle ground of Batman you know where he's not too light where he's like the freaking Adam West version or something um uh, but he's not too dark where he's like Frank Miller, or I guess now Batman vs Superman. Um, I'm excited to see where the Lego Batman fits. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, but Lego Batman is this, this different. It's a parody. Like, it's yeah, it's, it fits more. Well, the Adam West one was a parody too. Um, well, yeah, but you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, that <laughs> Lego Batman is a whole other thing. Like that's a parody, and that just works. And that's what it's going for. That awkward moment when you get Lego Justice League before a live action Justice League. <laughs> well, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's really off-putting. It's like, what trailer? Uh, you know? Best part of that movie-going experience, by the way, seeing that trailer. Yeah. Anyways, and, well, let's see. One, I think we got one more topic written down. PlayStation four point five. Yes. There we go. PlayStation four. Yes. Reports are going around that Sony is considering making a. Uh, Basically, like you said, a PS4.5, yeah. it, it will be a new version of the PS4 that will uh, potentially have 
uh, better GPU uh, processing and yeah. support for 4K resolution gaming. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know where to begin with this. So there's a lot. I, it's, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. You know, it just doesn't. Because, I mean, there was this report, and then there was a follow report saying that, yes, this is real, and this is happening. Sony is just still working it out, and it could come out next year in 2017. I mean, it's a re-announcement, maybe. Yeah. I just I just don't know. Like, it's it's weird, because like, we, it's, it's weird the, the idea of them putting out another system that's mm. not a PS5 and just kind of saying, hey, like, how do you market that? Like, how do you go and say, hey, you have a PS4, this is also a PS4, but it's better than your PS4. You know? Yeah, and the, the scary part when people were saying like, "Oh, there's going to be like specific PS4.5 games," I was like, "Oh, geez." No, see, that's oof, that'd that, be rough. Yeah, um, that would be rough too. Yeah, I just uh, I don't know. Would like certain things like the interface be faster or things with like you know? It's just, stuff I mean, like it's, that? it's just one of those things where like, if this does come out, it has to be just superficial and just be like hey if you have a 4k tv and you have the most out of it make sure you have a ps4 yeah which is or, which is neat because or, you know 4k is slow slowly but surely yeah, coming it's, up it's picking up 4k tvs are everywhere up, yes. they're getting cheaper you can get 4k blu-rays now in the exactly. stores um so I'm, yeah you know even from the get-go i did question even though 20 it's times since 2013 were a little different or even before when ps4 was being developed uh way back uh, you know why 4K support isn't really there. It's there well, for video. There, it's there for. It's there for yeah, yeah, let me correct myself. It's there for like Netflix. Yeah, like uh, you can and you can play. You can play 4K Blu-ray in your PS4. And supposedly you can view photos. That, video yeah, con- it's, you know, yeah, video content. But like the game doesn't support game out no. 4K. Nope. Um, which is kind of odd. But yeah, yeah, but I mean the video stuff was there. Um. So, I mean, this is one of those things where they have to kind of promote it as that. Like, it's superficial. Like, if you have a 4K TV, get this PS4K to kind of, like, you know, get the most out of it. But you can't you can't really make it out to be like, hey, it's better than what you have. You know, go get this. You know, it has to be one of those things where you basically go, well, do you have a 4K TV? No, I do not. Well, you don't need a PS4K, you know. You can just stick with your PS4. Um and then even like you said, like the idea of games being only compatible with the PS4K is stupid because it's like that would be really stupid because it's like if they did do something like that, they would have to basically make the game to where it's like, OK, if you run it on your PS4, it's going to look like this. And if you run it on your 4K, it's going to look like this. Like you'll have like a different mode, like a higher res version. But yeah. you can't you can't divide your market like that and go, hey, you want. You know, I don't know. You want like Watch Dogs too, but it's only on four point five. You know, well, not only it's just that I see maybe certain games. Uh, you know, maybe once a uh, PS4 4 K hypothetically get it gets name, which I doubt. Maybe that's going to be the name. Uh, you know, maybe games like GTA Five maybe get an update for the PS4 point five, and where you can have a four K resolution setting. Uh, several other ga- older games can get updated for it. Yeah, that's, that's what uh, I'm so, saying. Like, it could only be a setting. It can't be like this is the four point. Yeah, yeah this thing. is a four K version. Like, we have to resell this whole game, or certain games would only work on this. It has to just basically be a setting. Like, oh, I mean, you- it's definitely a. Sell- I mean, it's definitely a selling point. You know, you get your games looking a, a little bit better. Not not dra- not incredibly drastically night and day better, but you get them looking a little bit better. That's neat. Yeah. Uh, um. You know, it's also a way for them to mask, you know, the fact that, you know, PS4 hasn't had a redesign yet. Not that it really, not that it really needed one. And, uh, you know, I hope that it runs quieter as well, even with the more processing power. Maybe. That's a little bit of wishful thinking. Yeah, that could be one way to get around it. But yeah, where where they don't actually, like, specify all that. Like, just say, hey, look at the new slim PS4. And, you know, like, by the way, it supports 4K gaming and streaming or whatnot and then to most people they won't know what that means and they'll go oh whatever or i don't need that but to the people who have 4k tvs and know the 4k content that's going to be a deal breaker like oh no i need this you know so that'd be a neat way to sell it you know without really saying that's a whole new kind of thing you know in a way yeah where you you just sell it as the ps4 slim and it's kind of like a by the way thing this one has 4k support you know Right. I mean, it's kind of like what we saw with PS3, where like, 
oh, look, this slim version doesn't have PS2 backwards compatibility. I know it's not a marketing point, but that is like a by the way kind of thing. Like when you're buying it, mm-hmm. where like the older models had, you know, backwards compatibility and the new ones didn't, or the new ones had less USB ports, you know. Or, um, I mean, it was kind of like the same thing even with the PS. Like when the slim ones came out, they had more features like, oh, only on the uh, 2000 model, it has the video output mode, you know. Oh, yeah. Or the 3000 model PSP has the brighter screen, you know. So As like for Vita, Vita 2, it didn't really have any. No, Vita 2 is kind of just dropped. Bit of a downgrade. It downgraded because you have not an OLED screen and um, – some other things or whatever. Um, well, they made the and then they made the back pad smaller. But that was for That's like kind of good. But um, yeah. But I mean, that was that was like one example I can think of like where they did put better features into it. You know, with the PSP. Mm. Like when they went to 2000, 2000 model, they actually added features to it. I mean, not big features, but they are new things. You know, that essentially yeah. made it better. Um. So, I mean, yeah, that's one way they can do it is like that to where they don't have to market it as this big thing. Like, you need this. Like, no, this is something where the people who want 4K are going to know what so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or I mean, we don't know. Big, yeah, we don't know what's all there. You know, there is more to it. Hypothetically, would you want something like this? Would you go uh, out of I mean, get a if I, here's the thing. Like, I don't have a 4K TV, but I would like to get one because, yeah. like, I haven't bought one yet, but from this point on, if I go to buy a movie and if there's a 4K version available, I will buy it just so I have it, you know? I, I see it as just, you know, it's future-proofing. Yeah. You know, it's kind yeah, because like, cause like I saw online, like Deadpool, Deadpool's coming out. And when Deadpool comes out, there'll be a 4K Blu-ray pack you can get day one with the regular Blu-ray. Like that's the one I'm going to get because it comes with a 4K Blu-ray, a regular Blu-ray. And, and a digital copy. So if I buy that, I'm going to have my Blu-ray for me to watch right now, and I'm going to have my 4K Blu-ray disc, so that way when I one day have a 4K TV, I'll be ready to go. Yeah. You know, instead of having to go out and rebuy my movies. You know, mm-hmm. so that's what I'm doing. I'm like, like you said, I'm future proofing myself because now from this point on, I'm only going to buy the 4K Blu-ray packs. Um, and um, so when I do get a TV, and it's kind of the same thing now here with this PS4K, where if it did come out. You know, whole, this is about the 2017. I would hopefully hope that I would have 4K TV by then. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if I didn't have 4K TV by then, I probably didn't feel the need to go get it. Um, but if I did, I would. Um, but I mean, here's the thing too. Like, I don't like. I'm not me. I'm not personally worried about. It. Like, if this comes out, I will probably get it because the thing is, GameStop. Because GameStop will probably do some type of, like trade-in thing. You know? Yeah, probably. Where, like, I mean, hey, you could already trade in PS4 for like 200, but. Yeah, like they'll probably do some big trade in thing. We're like, hey, trade in your PS4 for a PS4K, and we'll give you, you know, like you said, two hundred dollars off. You know, yeah. so for two hundred dollars, because we suspect the thing to be cost probably four hundred. Probably the same price. I don't, I don't think it will be like some premium know. product. No, probably not. I mean, PS4 is three fifty, correct? Yeah. Shit. So this one probably four hundred, yeah. probably. Um. But yeah, I mean, I would be, I mean, like I said, if I had a 4K TV, I'd be willing to trade in my PS4 for this and get half off. So pay $200, you get the upgrade, basically. And you got this new 4K system. Um, hey, huh? can you pause it? Can you pause it? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, maybe, maybe, there might have been a little pause there, or jump or something. But anyway, yeah, what we were saying was just like, yeah, I would be willing to get a 4K, um, a PS4K PS4K. If I had a 4K TV and the games, I would probably just have a trade-in thing to get half off the new system anyway, which I'd be willing to do if I had 4K TV. But until then, we'll see. Um, but just comparing this though to like other companies, um, didn't Xbox do an Xbox Elite? Like that was the little different though. I mean, you know, we had like the arcade thing, but that's different. I mean, like that had no HDMI cord. And oh yeah, and no that. HDMI out, which is stupid. That was weird. Yeah, that was like yeah, no HDMI, no hard drive. It was very basic. Thing. Yeah, it was like super basic. And then like some yeah, some games didn't run with it because like it said in the box, they had to start putting it on the box of some games. Like oh, this requires a hard drive. So if you don't have the hard drive, you can't play this. You know, mm-hmm. so that was really weird. But no, I mean like the Xbox One Elite came out last year or something and that was kind of weird i mean it oh what was the big thing on that like it ran faster or something like that i forget what the, what the exact uh specs were Wait, you talk about xbox one yeah the xbox one xbox one elite mm. don't remember that one 
I don't know if it had any uh, different specs in it. Well, I don't think it had any extra processing power. I know one big thing was like, oh, this one runs faster. Like, faster loading, faster downloading, faster whatever. And uh, terabyte hard drive and just some other little things. I don't remember what all this, what all of it was. Yeah. And, like, I don't know if they still make that. Like, I don't know if that's the what comes in the Xbox bundle when you buy it today, you know. Uh, that was whenever that they did that. Um, what was it? And of course, oh god! And of course, Nintendo, the kings of whatever, <laughs> crazy products yeah. and marketing. It's a we. It's a Wii U. It's not. A, it's a new system. We promise. It's not an accessory. Look, I mean, I think this PS4.5 will appeal, anyways, for people that haven't gone to PS4 yet. Which, by the way, you should. Uh, which is strange. I mean, for the people that were like on the fence, like recently, like you know, oh, am I on the fence? But now I'm wondering, like, oh, so maybe, maybe should should you wait? I see this very much of uh, just like in the of the iPhone S range of you know uh, upgrades. You know? Um, every iPhone S uh, always comes with some sort of feature that's always future proofing just for later on. Uh, even same with some other Android phones. Um, that's how I kind of see it. Yeah. Like I said, I'm fine if there's a few little things, you know, but like I said, I just don't want there to be that divide where it's like, you know, like you said, the theoretical, like, oh, like maybe certain games would only work on this. I don't know. know? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, Because, I mean, we don't want it to be like another um, Nintendo thing where, like, they put out the 3DS and then they put out the new 3DS. Where. Really, new new 3DS can run uh, games on it. Yeah, there's certain games that only run on the new 3DS, like, um, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles was only on new 3DS. So like, if you, it's really weird because like, if you buy, you know, because people who just don't know, it is kind of confusing. Like, I want to buy this game, but it's like, it's a 3DS game. Yeah, it's a 3DS game, but it only runs on the new 3DS. Which 3DS do you have? And like, I don't know, an XL. I mean, I just got it. It's new to me, <laughs> but it's not the new 3DS. And it's just like, what? You know, so it is this kind of confusing thing. Um, I mean, and then now recently they did they did that with um, what was it? Hyrule Warriors did that. They did two versions of the game. They did a uh, 3DS version and they did a new 3DS version. And the the regular 3DS version runs like crap. Um, they said like if you want this game, you ha- you pretty much got to get it on new 3DS because it just it just it, they said it's just not a good port on the 3DS. So the new 3DS is uh is okay, you know. But, but yeah, but I mean, that's just the sense that's the, that's the divide, you know, where it's like, if you don't have a new one, you're going to get a crappy version of this game. Yeah. So I don't want that. I don't want that to happen where games start coming out and it's like, oh, here's the PS4 version. Here's the PS4.5 version, the 4K version, you know? Yeah. And it's just kind of like, you know, it's just like uh, running on crappy hardware and blah, blah, blah. It's just like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I think this. If anything, this has got to be just a small, like I said, just future proofing for 4K. Maybe a few little things like it runs faster, or maybe even the games might look a little crisper. But it can't be a huge thing where like you can't penalize people for not buying this, you know, if they already have a PS4. Because mm-hmm. I mean, the, the PS4 selling so well, it just feels weird to tell all those people, well, hey, guess what? You know, you need to buy another one or this one, you know. Hey, consoles are like phones. Uh, well, I mean, because phones really haven't had that problem where like, oh, hey, the iPhone 6S is out and there's all these new games or apps that are only compatible now with this one, you know? Oh, yeah, there's nothing uh, restricting compatibility. If anything, it's just like uh, added features, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, you don't get penalized for not having the phone. Like, it doesn't stop you from playing your games, you know? Or using apps, or it's using just, apps, you get like you get you get the additional features that it would come with. Now, granted, if I were to take those same apps and run them on the on the six S, guess what? They will run faster and they will look better, but they're still the same game, you know. Yeah. And then somebody who has the same game on the on the six S can still play with somebody who's playing on the six. You know, it doesn't. There, there's still that the compatibility of playing together in, in games. So it's, that's what I'm saying. It needs to be something kind of like that. Mm. So, so one of the things we'll see, because I mean, like I said, maybe it'd be something to talk about E3, just kind of be like, hey, you know, 
you know, there's this new slim PS4, look at this. And, you know, by the way, in small print, you know, it supports 4K video and uh, gaming, and it, it can do this and this, you know. At least it'll make E3 a little bit more exciting. It's just, I mean, their past couple of E3s have been kind of... I mean, it can't be like, they can't just do like a big F you and be like, oh, hey, guess what? Uncharted 4 only runs on this 4.4K or 4.5. So it's coming up before this. It gets delayed again by one month to tie in with the launch of this new 4K system. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh, boy. That's kind of like... Uh, I, I swear to God, if Uncharted 4 gets delayed again, <laughs> I'm not going to play it. <laughs> I, I'm done. Just because you had to wait a little longer? I mean, the game is done. It's gone gold. Like, like, like I can't have it in my PS4 hypothetically right now. Like, can you believe that? You can play the game from start to finish. It is gold. They're just waiting to... It, it apparently takes two months to manufacture discs. Good lord. And then, let's not forget, maybe it'll still multiplayer. Yeah, it's multiplayer stuff. might be still be working out. But, yeah, it's just manufacturing, man. It's crazy. Like, if, if Naughty Dog wanted to, and if Sony wanted to, and just said, who cares? They can just release this game tomorrow as a digital-only title, because it's done. You know, like, here you go. Exactly. I, know. I don't even want to get down that rabbit hole, but I know. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, there's that. And um, no, that's kind of like what's uh, going on with um, the new Zelda game. Everybody, it keeps getting delayed. Everybody's like, everybody's like so sure that that's not even going to be a Wii U game anymore. Probably not. It'll be for the next Nintendo system. Yeah. It'll be another uh, Twilight probably Twilight Princess situation where like it gets shown off for so long and then it's like oh it finally happens and they put do it both the GameCube and the uh, Wii you know what I mean I'm even even doubting the situation I mean even putting on a Wii U version is probably not even viable so even though yes Wii U's have already been sold and you know NX is new I just think it would be just be wiser just to release on the NX and then more incentive to actually buy it yeah it could be like well, it could be like a rare item, like uh, Twilight Princess for GameCube is a super rare item, actually. Mm. Like if you want to, if you try to buy it even used, you're gonna pay at least fifty dollars for a used copy. But that happens a lot of Nintendo games. I don't know why all Nintendo games are rare for some reason. Like used copies of, of certain games are, are still you're paying at least fifty dollars for. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, but anyway. With that, that is actually everything. Well, that was yeah. on my list, which is which is amazing because there's like 13 items here and we got it all while going to an hour and 20 minutes. We did go over the hour mark, but we're not like an hour 20. Yeah. For a minute there, I and, really uh, thought we were going to finish under an hour. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I don't. I don't. I don't mind going over an hour. I'm just you know it's just one of those things. Keep it on track. Yeah, just keep it on track. We don't have to ramble on. Um, it's good. This guy. Um, for next week, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to be here. Uh, I'm think. Uh, well, on top of having a Spanish quiz already next week for school stuff, and I've already have been having a lot of stuff to worry about recently. Uh, but I'll probably find someone to fill in. Could be Emmett. Could be someone else. Uh, fresh face. Or fresh voice, I should say. Yeah. Uh, which would be good. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'll also be out on uh, a retreat uh, next week. So uh, I'll probably find someone. Uh, it's probably more than likely I'm not going to be here next week. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well, this is due oh. to it. Uh, we'll talk about it more after. But yeah, I'm not going to probably me. be here. Yes, I will talk to myself for an hour. Great. <laughs> oh. I mean, yes, there are podcasts that do that. I just, I just, I just, I just know. I just don't know if it's, I. It's a very. Interesting skill to have. Yeah, I just don't know if I have that, you know. I mean, I speak clearly and audibly, and I have opinions and ideas, obviously, but I just don't think I have enough to kind of, like, just be me. I need someone to bounce off of. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just just a heads up. I'm going to be just probably off for the week. Well, I'm, which is, which is disappointing, because I'm off this week, so I'm like, I have nothing getting in my way. Yeah, it's, well, we'll talk about it more after, just... It's been it's been a rough week. 
It's just things. So things we'll talk about and later. stuff. Mm, just mainly things in the head, but we'll we'll go over that later. Mm-hmm. But I'm fine. It's just I I need uh, time off of things. I mean, that's why the retreat's also going to help me, even though it's only for a freaking day and a half. I feel like I need a week. Yeah, it doesn't uh, sound like a retreat if it's a day and a half. Exactly, right? Uh, but, I mean, that day I won't have my phone on me. Or maybe if I do, just take pictures, I guess. But I, I'm even cautious of that. So, uh, yeah, I'll be out for the for just, that day and a half. All right, just just, just, just don't drink the Kool-Aid. Oh, no, no, no Kool-Aid is going to be needed. Uh, I mean, maybe just regular Kool-Aid. Can I just have regular? Just regular? I, I don't know. Like, anytime I hear the words retreat and stuff, I think of scary cults oh. or something so don't don't drink the kool-aid oh no 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 cults of any kind i'm not on a level of anything i'm not a level six um just uh I, no, and, then I, I, and then that show the path starts this week too so it's kind of no. like that's another show about cults and stuff yeah. about a guy who goes on a retreat quote-unquote retreat and he comes back and it turns out it was like a cult so he's all crazy now oh no no cults of any kind. all right just just, just give me that warning just uh and that's what so he says, like, in the show, yeah. like, oh, how was your retreat? How was your retreat? He's like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. And then we start to realize that he, it was like a cult thing and he's just, like crazy now. So. Yeah. But simply put, I'll just kind of put it simply put, I guess, just to be honest, I do need time off. Not just of, I mean, even of this kind of stuff, too, it's just, um, which is rather unfortunate um, because this, this, this kind of stuff makes me happy a lot, even though I haven't been able to play games very recently at all, which you know, part partly makes me sad, uh, but you know, this of course I enjoy doing all the time. Even if I'm might be sounding a little sad, but uh, back, I'll definitely uh, hopefully be fueled up to get ready to go, and uh, I'll look for someone to uh, fill in for next week. Yeah, maybe maybe two people, maybe three. I don't I don't know. <laughs> well, just two. I mean, I I'll mean, see. I'll two. see. I yeah. know I know people too. I can maybe see. Yeah, I know people. Or heck, if Emmett can get on again, he's always great. Um, he can help. Uh, so yeah, Emmett. And then Emmett, I can see if I can pull any questions from people. Yeah, Emmett gets my Walking Dead references. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's been, that's where I've been kind of at, but we'll discuss it more after this. Mm. Mm. Yes, but anyway, yes. with all that. This has been the PSB as the Playable Session Podcast, episode 55. I am your host, Co TPS and Bye Boys. My host here is Andrew Arena Stubblis. Everyone, have a good week. Uh, eat good food. Recently, I've been having stomach aches. Eat good food. Eat healthy stuff every once in a while, <laughs> at least. Uh, so, yeah, just yes. kind of keep clean. Yes, do that. Something. Yes, do that. Uh, Play your video games. Uh, you can play video games. Uh, watch Batman vs Superman this weekend. Yeah, go check oh, it out. I say that with a grain of salt. Go well. Go get your own opinions. You, you, go form your opinion. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. That too. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Just, uh, just see it. Just go see it. See it. Just see it. Say it. Say it, man. Um, but you know, go do that. Um, Easter this weekend too. Easter's this weekend. Yeah, yes, the most uh, holy time of year. Yes, you know, so for uh, those of you who celebrate that, happy Easter. Yeah. And all that, uh, have a good one. If you're going to attend a long-ass mass, uh, <laughs> which unfortunately I have to do, so that's going to be fun. Uh, that gets you in the spirit for the holiday. Yeah. And plus Easter's earlier this year. Yes, so. it's early Easter, so. That's why I get a week off. Because for me, they tie in spring break with Easter, so that's why I have this week off. But yeah, um... So yeah. So yeah. So there's that. But um yeah, thanks for listening and hopefully we'll see you guys next week. And click.